LSU lost to Florida State on a crazy series of events, right? If you watched the game, it was Sunday night. Okay, so wasn't a great game. LSU's new uh, quarterback is Jaden Daniels. He came from Arizona State. He's not a great thrower. He's a great athlete. Uh, but he started as a true freshman at Michigan State. At, at, against, I remember they had the big win against Michigan State his freshman year. He's had some good moments. And they struggled against a really good Florida State uh, front seven. And he had a couple, couple, had a couple big drops. But their offense was generally awful throwing the football until the fourth quarter where they put it together. Um, they had a kid named Neighbors drop two punts, including the one that should have decided the game, should have ended the game. But instead of Florida State just taking a knee, running out the clock, right, they tried to run a, I think they ran a, they, they, uh, they ran like a pitch, like sweep, and fumbled the ball at the one yard line, giving LSU new life. LSU marches down the field and kind of a weird call where kid was trying to get out of bounds with one second to go. Looked like he did. Then upon further review, he didn't, but because it's college football, you get it. You, the clock stops at a first down. They basically gave him one untied down. LSU scored a touchdown. Instead of going for two in the win, they went for the extra point. Let's play overtime. They were playing better in the fourth quarter, and Florida State looked tired. Seemed like a smart play, right? And they missed the extra point. The, the social media stuff is so crazy, so ridiculous, so, frankly, insulting to uh, on a lot of levels. Here's one. There's a Notre Dame commitment. His name's um, Drake Bowen. By the way, in the how could you possibly find a different way to spell Drake? D-R-A-Y-K. I think that's Drake. Drake Bowen. Um, he, uh, he called out... Uh, Brian Kelly, who he originally committed to at Notre Dame, this is a high school kid, for his comments about LSU having an actual having actual resources needed to win. Drake Bowen, can't wait to get to ND where they have the resources to win. Hashtag Freeman era. Now, look, I'm a bad guy for taking the bait over commenting on a high school kid, but the high school kid chose to dip his t- t- toe in the water. Like, hey, dude, you ain't even graduated high school yet. You don't know anything about anything? Commenting on what a college coach comments on when you don't understand truly the landscape of things is kind of embarrassing, right? That, but the problem is that a kid feels so empowered that he can comment on it because, well, they left the school that you committed to. Do you understand? Like you're like a scorn lover, but you're not actually in, in the relationship with the person that you're going to be in a relationship with. Like, dude, when you're 18, you, you really don't, you know, very little about how the whole, you know. Look, what Brian Kelly couldn't say was, look, we're at Notre Dame. It's a great academic institution. It's hard to get guys in school, hard to keep them in school. Um, in terms of location, it ain't easy to get kids to get on a plane from Florida, from Texas, from Louisiana, from Virginia, from California, okay, and say, hey, man, come and be in South Bend. Be a legit student athlete. And if you're there during bowl season, it's going to be freezing cold and freezing cold to start a second semester. Like, good luck with that. Resource is a big word. LSU will do anything in their power, anything. And part of it, resources, name, image, and likeness. They'll do whatever it takes to win. So, I shouldn't take the bait with Drake Bowen, but Drake, what are you doing, dude? Right now you're committed to Notre Dame. Right? And Mark Freeman seems like the greatest dude ever. But you hadn't even completed your senior year, let alone played a down of football. Let's take a breath here before we comment on a coach who's won everywhere he's been. And look, they look like a disheveled mess. I'm not going to, like, the special teams is bad. They didn't play particularly well. Got it. First game, new regime, basically a new roster. It looked about like what you thought it would look. Then you get to two of the talented wide receivers for LSU taking down any LSU mention from their social media. Kayshawn, uh... Kayshawn Booty is a really talented kid. 
and he only got a couple of touches. One was a drop touchdown pass that, in all honesty, I thought the cornerback made a great play. Another one, he would have scored a touchdown, wasn't looking. Looked like Jaden Daniels threw it a hair earlier rather than a hair later in which he would have had a touchdown either way. But nonetheless, there were a couple looks. There were a couple miscommunications. But here's the deal. I, I get that you're mad. I get that you didn't get as many touches as you want. And it, you're within your rights as a human being, no less a football player, to speak your mind. But this thing about free speech is this. You're not free from repercussion. And I would also point out that while in the past everybody said, hey, man, he's a kid. It's not that big a deal. Right? It's one game. What's he doing? It's a mistake with social media. Most people don't view these guys as, as kids anymore. They're professional athletes. And the pushback is severe. Here's the crazy part about college. Like, you do that in the pros, you might not might not have a job the next day. Right? You do it in college. How do you coach a college team now if you're Brian Kelly? Right? You got to play freshman early because all your resources got kids via name, image, and likeness. They were playing a very young offensive line that got a little bit manhandled by Florida State's front. You spend all this money on kids, you better damn play them. And if you don't play them or you don't get them the ball, then they leave. Okay, they leave at the end of the year. But after one game? After one are you Are you kidding me? And anybody who's saying, well, you know, the kid, the coach, no. No. I understand you can, but it is divisive behavior. Because now everybody has to kiss his ass all week. Well, well, Kayshawn, are you okay? Can, can we get you the ball more? Can we get, like, dude, get in the film room. Find out what the mistakes are. Figure them out. Plenty of football to be played. One game? And, and there will be no, there won't be much backlash against the kid. But what are we training him for? College is a training ground for what you're going to do professionally and in life. So that doesn't mean you cut him or you send him home. But the idea that that's okay is embarrassing. The sport is embarrassing that this is how the players are behaving. I don't get the ball enough in one game that, oh, yeah, by the way, if you just put the extra point down and block, you go to overtime, even though you didn't play particularly well with a whole new team and a whole new coach and a new quarterback. I, dude, what? But that's 2022. That's the culture. 